I'm so sorry we're late. We came from our bankruptcy brunch and Michael Bublé played, but he ran a little long. I love Michael Bublé. Was a bankruptcy brunch the best idea? Sure, let's not have brunch, like animals. Well, um, some of these expenditures are questionable. Mm. Uh, you fill the public pools with bottled water? Total body hydration. What is this here, this massive expenditure from public works? The, ah, yes, well, yes, we purchased HBO for the whole town. I'm sorry, you spent government money on a TV subscription? It's not TV. All right, uh, Leslie's put together a presentation for a financial recovery. Great, you may find it very informative. Let's get started with our first slide. Well, well, well. JJ, a few months ago, I came in here and began eating eggs. They were delicious, so I ordered more. Before long, I believe I had eaten... 51 eggs in 20 minutes. Couldn't cook them fast enough. The last 10 were still in the shell. It was a JJ's Diner record, and you took his picture. Now, we need that picture for privacy reasons. Okay, but I don't know how anybody would know it's you. We followed your instructions. That's too much information. Let's go. Where are we going now? I've eaten a lot of food and a lot of restaurants. Why is everyone else so bad at eating? I only agreed to come back here because of our deal. Do you promise to play along? Yes. Do you? Yes. Hi, you're back. Hello again. As you remember, I'm April, and this is Anne, my 65-year-old grandmother. Yes, that's who I am. Anyway, we'd love to hear about Bloomington. It seems like a real hip kind of college town. Me, Ma? God, no one uses the word hip anymore. Sometimes I wish you went down on the Titanic with all your sorority sisters. I would be happy to show you guys around the campus. Is there anything in particular that you want to see? How are your local graveyards? I have some planning to do. You blew it. Super hard. Complete buffoonery. It's hilarious, and you deserve it. Hey, you think you might want to take it easy on them a little bit? Oh, like they took it easy on us when they stole all our money and seceded from our town? It was 200 years ago. Cool it. Fine. I'll skip ahead. Do you have a plan that will help us or not? We have borrowed absolutely everything we can from the state, and really, Pawnee is our only hope. We do have a plan. We are willing to provide a bridge loan for $50,000, 25% interest compounded monthly, and you need to release a statement that says that Pawnee rules and Eagleton drools. Well, now you're just being nasty. I understand that our towns have a complicated history, but we have a saying in Eagleton, you don't kick a dressage horse after a failed pas de deux. Whatever, Blondie. Your butler made your bed, now you gotta lie in it. And if you walk out that door, none of us here, and I repeat, none of us will ever help you again. Oh my God. They have Michael Bublé on retainer. 